all children grow up. And I knew this sooner than most. When I was like two years old, I was in this garden picking flowers and I plucked one, brought it to my mother, and she looked down at it and said, Ugh, why can't you stay this way forever, darling? It is all downhill once you turn two. The beginning of the end. Hmm. And that's why God invented happy hour. <laughs> Waiter! I spilled. This was when I knew I had to grow up. Why am I talking about this, dear viewers? Well, because this is Dear Darling, and today's topic is growing up. Jamie Berry writes, Dear Darling, I just turned 18 and I'm about to go off to college. Leaving everything I know, I'm kind of freaking out. How do you handle being so old? I forgot that being a woman, 27 and single, basically equates to being dead. I will start digging my own grave as soon as I finish making this lovely dress of cat hair and tears. I know that growing up can seem scary, but we've all got to do it. And trust me, getting out of this town is the first big step. I mean, I have lived in Neverland, Ohio my entire life, and I can't wait to get out there and see the world. Places like New York. Hey, I'm walking here, I'm walking here. Paris. Hey, I'm eating a croissant here, I'm eating a croissant here. London. Hey, I am driving on the other side of the road here. I am driving on the other side of the road here. Okay, so I can't do that many accents. But the point is that out there, there are so many adventures waiting. But here in Neverland, I feel like I've had them all. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's not that I hate Neverland. No, I, I mean, there are, it's not that there aren't people here that I miss so much. You know, I don't even know what life would be like without... <laughs> Peter Pan! You scared the fudge out of me. It's not my fault. I move like a shadow. Oh, that is a brilliant idea for a supervillain. Remember when I said that everyone grows up? Well, everyone but one. Dang it, now you want fudge. Oh, fudge sounds awesome. Doesn't it? Yeah, we should definitely get some fudge. Oh, we could get cookie cutters and make little fudge people. Oh, wait, stop there. We could create an entire fudge world and then be the merciless gods that eat it. <laughs> Let's definitely add that to the to-do yes. list. But first, today you are Queen of Neverland. Oh. I was thinking of getting a better job, and, and Queen sounds pretty good. Well, come on. Don't, go, hold on. For those of you who don't know, today is the 154th anniversary of Neverland, Ohio. And no one. I mean, no one. My darlings loves Neverland quite so much as Peter Pan. So every year for the past 20-ish uh, years, he takes us on this grand expedition to retrace the footsteps of our founding father, J.M. Barry. Exactly. So let's expedite uh, well, this expedition expeditely. Hold on there, cowboy. I gotta, I gotta finish my column. <laughs> uh, what's today's about? Growing up. Oh, that is an easy one. The only thing you'll ever need to know about growing up is don't do it, Mr. Trap. <laughs> Let me finish. Peter! Oh, hey. hi, uh, yay, more people. Viewers say hello to my brothers. Oh, looking good, boys. It looks like a five-year-old's birthday threw up on my head. Sir Michael Darling and Sir John Darling, knights and sons of Neverland, I welcome you. Oh, I see Tink has given you your wares. Are you ready to celebrate? Oh yeah, definitely. I even shaved my chest just in case I have to flash people to get more beads. That's Mardi Gras, Michael. Adventures await. Out the window, my boys. I'm not creasing my pants climbing through that. I'll meet you outside. Your Highness, Neverland is calling. Sorry, dear viewers, um, it looks like growing up will have to wait, <laughs> because today is all about being a kid again with your brothers and the best friend a gal could ask for. Till next time, my darlings. After you, milady. <laughs> yep, friends. Just friends. <laughs> <laughs>